Welcome to a new Team CDC 9.8 video. Today I want to talk about some 9.8s that are dropping in value, but uh, should you get in there and buy them now on this pullback? That's what we'll uh, kind of get into for each issue on the video here. So uh, first one up is a Batman Adventures 12 in a 9.8. Yeah, and seeing a, a little bit of a pullback in prices recently on a Batman Adventures 12 in a Direct Edition 9.8 kind of makes sense too. You know, last year there was that uh, Birds of Prey movie I think there was some hype and promotion for Harley Quinn last year, and uh, this year, you're, you know, now you're kind of getting a little bit of a better deal on this one. So, you know, it's a tough one in a 9.8. If you're in the market, if you're a big Harley Quinn fan, you want to look out for this one when it pulls back in price because it is just a, a fantastic collector item in the 9.8. There's a 999.8s in the Universal Blue Label, a one of 990. That's really surprising. Like for such a huge first appearance, a lot of times there's like 2,000, 3,000 of them, especially in a 1990s book but still under a thousand on this one. And I think, you know, this one's kind of got like the, it's a Fox Kids book on the cover. And I feel like people from the beginning were like throwing these to the kids for them to like color on and stuff like that. Uh, nobody was really thinking like, oh, I got to throw this in a bag and board and keep it super high grade because it's going to be like an amazing collector item or something like that. So because of that reason, it, it's just ended up being a super tough 9.8. 14.1% uh, is the 9.8 ratio. So a nice low you know, teens 9.8 ratio for a 1990s comic it is just fantastic. And that's why this one's always almost pretty much led the charge in a 9.8 prices for big 1990s key issues in, in a 9.8. Uh, but a recent price for one in a direct edition, 9.8, 2,611. Uh, so, you know, last year, it was kind of used to seeing these go for sort of like, you know, 3,050 or 2,950 or like 3,175 or something like that in auctions. Uh, so at 2611 cooling down a little bit, saving yourself $500 at this level. Yeah, I think absolutely you want to keep an eye on this one if you're in the market for it on this cool down. Uh, you know what? If you're the biggest Harley Quinn fan and you want this one, you could probably get in there right now at 2611 That's saving about 500 bucks from prices last year. If you want to be really strategic on this one, I think you can be patient. Um, I don't know of any like imminent uh, Harley Quinn movie that's coming out. I don't think that's going to happen uh, for a couple years. Uh, so you, you could be really patient on this one and wait for uh, right around 2,500, maybe even a little bit under. I think at that point, it's pretty much a, sc a scream in value for one of the tougher 9.8s in the 1990s. Yeah, Batman Adventures 12 is just always one to keep an eye on when it's cooling down. Uh, so next one is an Avenging Spider-Man number nine. Uh, so this one's a really interesting one. Certainly this one's dropped in value from its all-time highs when the uh, kind of the build-up to the Captain Marvel movie. This one was like 450 bucks basically in the 9.8. Little over 400 bucks during that time. Uh, pulling back in price now. It, it'll be interesting for this one because that The Marvels movie, I believe it is, is coming out next year. I'm pretty sure Captain Marvel's in that. Uh, well, let's have a look on the census, though. Uh, 1,043 9.8s in a blue label. 46.8% is the 9.8 ratio. So not a really tough ratio, not something worth, like, paying up for, really. Um, so, uh, recent price in an auction. Saw one sell for 2007, or, uh, sorry, $271.66. 271 66 So, even last year, this one was a little bit colder. It really cooled down last year to, to the point where I saw some auctions go for, like, $180. So you know what? Uh, kind of tempting to get in there on this one because the one thing I do really like about this one, even though I'm not the biggest Captain Marvel fan, I do love the cover. Yeah, Captain Marvel I think is just looking really hot and then Spider-Man's kind of like attached to her as she's flying around. I think that's a pretty cool idea for a cover. Good eye appeal on this cover. So it is kind of one I want at the right price. So, you know, pretty tempting around that 271.66, but I think for me, I'm going to wait for this, like, the Marvels movie to happen, and 6 to 12 months after that movie, or whenever it'll be when this one really lulls, I think you'll be able to get it for kind of the under $200 price it was when it was really cold last year. So that's the way I'd play in Avenging Spider-Man number 9. Maybe not buy now, wait until that the Marvels movie plays its course, and then you can get this one for under 200 And at, at, that, price, at that price, it's a really cool cover in the 9.8, I think. Alrighty, next one here, A New Mutants 98. Yeah, big key issue. Almost uh, can't go wrong with like a big hero first appearance key issue and uh, A New Mutants 98. I think kind of the timing's right on this one now as well. Uh, interesting, I was looking at a uh, video, pricing video we did over a year ago, and this one, they were selling for 2,700 and something during that time, a few we documented on that video. And it was really right during the kind of height, the kind of top of the COVID 
hot comic book market. And right at that time, there were some rumors that, yes, like Deadpool MCU is eventually going to happen at some point. They didn't really have a release date or anything like that. But just based on that, this one was right around 2700 uh, recent sale, 1725 So obviously it just cooled down so much since then. $1,000 less than at that time, you know, a little over a year ago. So I think now is the time to uh, uh, think about a New Mutants 98 if you're in the market for one. And yeah, again, kind of a no-brainer, a big hero first appearance. Can't go wrong. 3,668 9.8s. It is an early 90s comic book, so going to be heavily printed. There's going to be a ton of them in the 9.8. 18.8% is the 9.8 ratio. That's kind of ticking down over time. I remember when I got into the hobby, it was about 20% or so. Now 18.8% uh, of all graded copies are 9.8s. That's uh, a bit of a positive for sure. Uh, so um, again, that recent price, they're right around kind of 1,700 to 1,800. I think one went for like 1,625 in an old case. 9.8 white pages, I think, you know, that's a really good deal. Closer to 1,600, uh, one going for 1,725. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, uh, New Mutants 90 is probably one of the better sort of obvious no-brainer buys right now. You know, it was $1,000 more about a year ago. It's cooled down. Eventually, there's going to be an MCU Deadpool movie where this will heat right back up. So, kind of now's the time to buy right around $1,700, I think, is a, a price target to aim for on a New Mutants 98 in the direct edition. Okay, and the uh, next one is... Um, was a really popular modern comic when it first came out. It's kind of cooled down now, and I think you could consider it as just a really cool, affordable 9.8. It's a Thor number five. And uh, I do like the first printing on this one. I know I made like a video of uh, the Thor number five in the third print when it had first came out as a new comic book. I thought it was a pretty cool new comic book with a uh, um, Black Winter on the cover on the third print. Uh, but I think that was really heavily ordered, and over time, I think the first print is just kind of the one to get. Or the variant cover, if you're really more serious about this one. Uh, we'll get into prices on a few of them here. Uh, but uh, for Thor number five, it's first full appearance of the Black Winter. Donnie Cates, you know, has a big cult of following, so this one was really hot when it first came out. 1,938 9.8s in a blue label in that first printing. 85% the 9.8 ratio, so kind of a typical new book. Pretty much almost all of them are 9.8s that are sent to CGC. So in that first printing, 9.8, saw one sell for $91, saw one sell for $119.99. This is absolutely one you could be super patient on. I would aim in that sort of $80 to $90 range in a 9.8 in the first printing. I saw the variant sell for $360, the Ribic variant. Yeah, that's kind of the one to get if you're really serious about this one, that Ribic variant cover right around kind of $350, let's call it as a price target, is making a lot of sense. And I'm not going to say like, oh, this is going to be a great one to invest in. Like, you want to buy it now on the pullback. This is just one, like, if you liked it when it came out, um, now they're a lot less money in a 9.8. So it's, you know, if, if you like this one, uh, you can get them for a cheaper price right now. And that, that kind of makes sense um, if you're into some of these modern 9.8s. Okay, and the last one here. Yeah, we did touch on uh, the Ultimate Fallout 4s on a recent video, but Ultimate Fallout 4 second printing. I think is a pretty solid buy here on a pullback because uh, definitely the first printing right now is basically at its all-time highs. And I was kind of surprised that, you know, in the second printing, uh, the prices aren't really, you know, uh, um, spiking up too, too much on that Across the Spider-Verse movie kind of teaser and, and announcement. Uh, but, hey, uh, yeah, big first appearance of Miles Morales in the second printing on a little bit of a pullback I think is going to make sense over time. Uh, so a 1,409.8 in a blue label, a one of 1,400 for, you know, Miles Morales, pretty much the most popular modern character. So there's never going to be like a limited amount of them. 43.8%, the 9.8 ratio. And uh, yeah, you can check out that other uh, Ultimate Fallout 4 video if you want a little more details on uh, uh, the Ultimate Fallout 4s. But uh, in the second print, 9.8, recent sales, $635, $649, and $699. So, uh, yeah, I think pretty much anywhere under 700 in a great looking 9.8. If you're a big Miles Morales fan, it, it, it's kind of one to one at this level. And this was one, you know, sort of around that same time when the New Means 98 was around 2,700. The comic book market was a lot hotter then. And uh, this was right around $1,000. Yeah, I remember a few going over 1,000. It was maybe for like a month there. And then they, you know, dip below. Maybe we're going for about 900 bucks for quite a bit. Now they're under 700. And I think you could absolutely get in there and buy this one. Uh, first appearance of Miles Morales in the second printing in a, a great, perfect 9.8. I think it's just making a lot of sense right now. All right, team, so a quick short list of some 9.8s that are dropping in price. 
And a few I think are making a lot of sense to just get in there and, and pretty much buy them right now at a fair value. And the outlook's looking pretty good on, on most of these in, in a 9.8 moving forward. All right, team, uh, thanks so much for watching, though. I'll see you on the next one. If you're liking my content, please subscribe and hit that bell, and I'll keep you updated on future videos.